Rose Nama Yunus withdrew from now cancelled UFC 249 due to relatives. Rose Nama Yunus was booked to fight Jessica Andrade at UFC 249, but the former strawweight champ dropped out of the card before news that the event was cancelled broke. Since then, her management team has announced that Rose withdrew from the card due to the passing of two relatives from the coronavirus. Nama Yunus was scheduled to fight Andrade at the doomed event, which would have marked the first time she had fought since the Brazilian fighter ended her reign as the strawweight champ. That loss took place at UFC 237 in May of 2019, as Andrade took Thug out with a vicious slam in round two. The consensus was, however, that Nama Yunus was outscoring Andrade with strikes until the slam went down. Well, prior to the news that UFC 249 will not in fact take place, since ESPN has asked the UFC to not proceed with the event, word came that Nama Yunus had withdrawn. At first, the reason for Rose's removal wasn't known, but more recently, her management team sucker punched Entertainment released this statement. At Rose Nama Yunus withdrew from UFC 249 due to two deaths in the family related to the coronavirus. Her hopes are to return to the octagon as soon as possible, but for now, we ask for people to respect their privacy during this time. So this is really sad news and the fact Rose had dropped out of the card is understandable. Hopefully, the rest of her family is safe. Late last year, Nama Yunus reported that she was finally eager to get back into the cage following her loss to Andrade. Immediately after the loss, Rose's future in fighting seemed uncertain. While talking to ESPN in November, an emotional Nama Yunus said the following. Yeah, um, I'll fight again. And you know, it's it's kind of one of those things where, oh, you get a little emotional. But um, yeah, it's just like I lost the, I lost the passion for, um, for, you know, martial arts and fighting, mainly for fighting. But um, I, uh, I found my passion again. I, I went back to, uh, Minnesota to see one of my like first uh one of my former like coaches like from earlier on in my amateur career uh Greg Nelson and you know he's just like a huge inspiration um for me and uh sorry I'm just getting all teared up right now but yeah it's been tough like I think the reason I wanted to retire is because it's this isn't a job where you can go in half ass and not not be fully passionate about what you're doing because you know there's been times where I've been not like totally confident in myself going into a fight and then I just you know pull it off or get through it or just push through it and then like you know with injuries or being sick um but this last time was like extra scary because um of what could have happened you know to me when you know, just, just push it through something when you're not 100%. So hopefully, Nama Yunus takes the time she needs to deal with the tragic loss of her relatives, and we see her back in the octagon sooner than later. UFC 249 and other upcoming events postponed after ESPN asked to pull the plug. A lot can change in the world of MMA and fast as following the UFC's announcement earlier this week that UFC 249 is going ahead. The promotions reported that's not going to be the case. In addition, it looks like any other plans for the UFC to hold cards in California in the short term future have also been shelved. On Monday, the UFC announced that its April 18th event was going to take place as Dana White repeatedly insisted it would. Although the UFC did not announce a location for the event, it was reported UFC 249 and other upcoming cards were going to be hosted by the Tachi Palace Resort and Casino in California. Not long after, the California State Athletic Commission announced that it would not regulate the card since state officials and the Association of Ringside Physicians had advised against it due to the coronavirus pandemic. But more recently, the Association of Boxing Commissions and Combative Sports announced that the card would be sanctioned. Well, ultimately, the ABC's endorsement didn't end up mattering as ESPN and its parent company Disney asked the UFC to shut down for the time being. While talking to ESPN's Brett Okamoto on Thursday, White said this. And today we got a call from the highest level you can go at Disney and the highest level uh, of, of ESPN. And uh, one thing that I've said since we started our relationship and partnership with ESPN that has been an incredible one. It's been an amazing uh, partnership. Uh, ESPN has been very, very good to us and the powers that be there asked me to stand down. 
and not do this event next Saturday. We're ready to go. And one thing that I need to point out is that uh, Tachi Palace in California, the Indian Reservation, has had our back this whole time, has stood their ground and uh, was willing to do this fight. And let me tell you this, when the world gets back to normal, the California event will be at Tachi Palace. Hmm. I'm, do I'm doing a fight there. I'm gonna bring them a big fight and I appreciate them um, standing with me. And while talking about the fighters and their paydays, White said this. One other thing I wanna really point out is all of my fighters that are under contract with me, I want them to feel safe, take time with your families and, and uh, you know, enjoy this time. Don't worry about the financial part of this. You're gonna get the fights on your contract and I'm gonna make things, you know, uh, right with the people who are willing to step up and fight this weekend. And not this weekend, but next weekend on April 18th. And I'm gonna take care of as many people as I possibly can and, and, and do whatever it takes to make these guys all feel comfortable. All of my employees, nobody's getting laid off at the UFC. Everybody's good. Mm -hmm. We will be the first um, sport back at the end of the day, what's transpired here shouldn't come as a shocker. After word of the UFC's plans to hold UFC 249 on tribal lands made the rounds, multiple voices, including high-level politicians, voiced their disapproval. While fight fans are starving for some combat sports action, if a fighter or their team contracted the virus as a result of UFC 249, it would have been a scandal for both the promotion and ESPN. But what do you guys think? Should the UFC have postponed the event or forged ahead despite the opposition? Here's Tony Ferguson, live reaction to UFC 249 cancellation on Brian Martin of the OC Register. Oh well, I'm still gonna train, Ferguson said upon hearing out the event was canceled. With the event being canceled, Ferguson could very well be scheduled to battle Khabib Nurmagomedov when the pandemic is over. He no longer needs to fight Gagey for an interim belt, but for El Kukui, he says he will not stop training and the goals remain the same. Dude, I'm just gonna keep collecting trophies and doing my same shit, Ferguson said before pausing and getting emotional. Every single time I wake up in the morning, when I do my work, say my prayers and I do stuff, I hug my little boy, whew, kiss my wife, I just keep doing what I'm doing. What am I gonna do? In the end, Tony Ferguson says he plans on reaching out to Dana White to thank him for trying to put on the event. He also says he plans on using this time off to put on muscles as he admits he is too skinny. The constant is things are always going to change. The variable is how am I going to react to it, Ferguson said. So we could throw that variable, baby, and we make that the constant, which is why I'm going to keep smiling. I'm going to keep training, and you know what? I'm going to put on some muscle. Dude, I'm skinny. I'm going to put on some muscle. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try my best. If I fall, I get back up. What do you guys think? Do you guys want to see Khabib versus Tony next after UFC is allowed to come back? Let us know down in the comment section below. Dana White proclaims Fight Island UFC UFC cards will happen despite UFC 249 cancellation. Although UFC 249 is not going to take place on April 18th and the UFC's plans to hold cards on tribal lands in California seem to have been shelved, Dana White insists Fight Island bouts will proceed. For weeks, Dana White repeatedly claimed that the UFC would find a way to hold the April 18th UFC 249 card somehow despite all the restrictions jurisdictions have passed due to the coronavirus. Then earlier this week, the UFC announced that UFC 249 was going ahead. While no location was officially announced, it was reported that the Tachi Palace Resort and Casino in California was going to host the event. In addition, White also reported that the UFC was working on securing a private island so that it could also promote fights internationally. Since then, however, the UFC and White announced that UFC 249 and its upcoming events have been postponed at the request of ESPN. After news of the UFC's plans to hold cards at the Tachi Casino was reported, various people, including officials, spoke out against the plan. So where does this leave the UFC's hopes to hold fights on a private island? Well, apparently the promotion's still moving forward with that plan. While speaking with ESPN's Brett Okamoto, White said this. Well, that's happened. See, that's why I'm telling all, all of my guys not to worry, because because Fight Island's going to happen. It's obviously still being, um, you know, all the infrastructure is being built right now and, and, and get getting put in place as we get closer to that then i'll start figuring out booking fights getting guys ready plus i can ship guys over there earlier and they can start training over there on the island um so once that's all in place you know you're looking at like a month huh. a month i'll have that all put together and guys can start training and 
can go there. I'm sure people are going to be ready to get out of their houses in another month and, you know, go to an island somewhere and train. And so that, that's all coming together. It's all going to happen. Um, I could I could go next week, but you know, this is what it is. And. I'll see, you, I'll see you in a month. This is pretty interesting to hear, but do you think the UFC can pull it off? With all the restrictions on travel right now, it seems like a tall order, right? Further, if the UFC doesn't have extensive measures in place to address any type of medical issue that might arise with the fighters, you know opposition to this plan will mount. That said, White has insisted the UFC will take steps to ensure the health and safety of fighters, but what do you guys think? Do you see the UFC holding fights on a private island? Or do you think ultimately the UFC will need to cancel these plans like they did for UFC 249?